Hello everyone, I'm Elijah from musicgreatness.com. Welcome to the very first episode of Piano Basics. This series will be entirely dedicated to the beginners out there, so if you're completely new to the piano and knows nothing about music, don't worry at all, I'll be teaching every single thing you need to know. Learning an instrument can seem like a very hard thing to do. In reality, in music, you only need to know just a few things. You'll very often see that a concept is repeated and simply reapplied in a different context. So, if you're serious about learning, please make sure to cover your basics because trust me, it will make things so much more easier for you later down the road. Now, first things first, let me introduce you to this beautiful instrument that is the piano. It has a set of white keys and also a set of black keys. Those keys are not random. The entire keyboard is arranged on a pitch, from low to high. The further you go on the left, the lowest you'll be on the pitch, and the further you go on the right, the higher you'll be on that pitch. Now yes, that's a lot and a lot of notes. Do you have to know every single one of them? The answer to that is yes and no. You will eventually know the name of each keys on the piano, but you only need to memorize 12 notes to do so. Let's take a look at the physical aspect of the piano. You will notice a pattern. For example, here we have a set of three white keys. And just above, there's a set of two black keys. So three white keys and two black keys. Now going to the right, just after that, we have a set of four white keys, one, two, three, four, and above that we have, we have now a set of three black keys. And if you go further up, you will see the same pattern, a set of three white keys, and above that two black keys. Go to the right, a set of four white keys and just above, a set of three black keys. In fact, that pattern is repeated all over the keyboard, as you can see. Okay, looking closer at that pattern, we can see that we have seven white keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and five black keys. One, two, three, four, Five. And that's a total of 12. And each of those 12 keys will refer to 12 specific notes. All the white keys that you see here are referred to as naturals. The first key, just under the first black key from the set of two black keys. So, you have the set of two black keys. And just under that, you have that white key. That key is called C. The next natural note after C is this one, called D, then going up you have E, next to it you have F, G, A, and B. So after that we have once again C. Repeating the same pattern. C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. You have the same seven notes repeated all over the keyboard. For example, this one is a C. If I go down here, this one is a C also on a different pitch, going lower. This one is also a C. And this one is a C2. Let's take another one. F, sitting just under the first black key, under the set of three black keys. Just under that, you have F. So this is an F. This one is an F. This one is an F. And also this one is an F, just placed differently on the pitch. 
So that's for the white keys. In the next part, I'm going to talk about the black keys, but before we do, we need to understand one concept, and that's the tonal structure. So see you in part two.